Okay, we're back! Yes, we're here in the Mad Man Cave! I haven't called it that in a while, but you know what? Who cares? You know what it is, you know who I am, and you know why you're here. Yes, I know you're, but where's everybody else? You know what? Cry me a river. It's me, the guy who started the whole thing in the first place, and I'm tired of telling you guys what's going on. Face it, you'll find out. Fans of Lowry, I will let you know we're working on this documentary, The Fall and Rise of Lowry. Keep that in mind. It'll be coming out eventually. It's going to answer a whole lot of questions about him. As for the rest of the guys, well, it's pretty simple. Allison's concussed. Mad Montreal girl's concussed. Cute Montreal girl's not here. Leroy turned into a fat little pig who can't get up. He's falling asleep. Dr. James, well, he's just too busy taking care of Allison. Slim is looking for Lowry. And the other ones, well, you know what? They're just not me. It's me, comic book time. Here we go. All right, Marvel, what are you doing? Back it up. New camera person. They just suck. Keep the camera here. I will pick up the books and show you the books. This is what happens when you have to get part-time help, folks, okay? All right, Scarlet Spider. Insides are nice. But this is one of my problems with this kind of book is. It's part two of a storyline, a crossover. I don't buy the other one, so for me, this is a waste of time. All right, Thor, beautiful book. I've been sitting all along. Oh, look at that artwork. Sweet! Okay, bye, Thor. Right, the regular Fantastic Four. It's okay. Uh, not as good as the last one. Defenders. Oh, look! Avengers Arena. They finally realized the children are missing. It's issue 13. Took them some time. All right, Secret Avengers. Whoa, so-so book. All right, Wolverine. He's killable. Movie plug. And Marvel's best comic book of the week. It's their best cover. Infinity. Yes, it's a black cover, but it's just so cool. And the art inside is pretty good, too. So that's it for Marvel. All right, shall we go to DC? Okay, it's cute. Still don't quite get what's going on. I really can't get into this book. I'm not sure why. All right. Oh, you, you know you've been waiting for it. Justice League America, the Trinity War. <sighs> Nice and fast night. This is the shortened versions again. All right, back, man. Arkham Unhinged. Game-related, good comic book. They always seem to be. Getting stupider and stupider. I mean, when Nightwing was kick-ass, now he just gets his ass kicked. All right. Demon Knights, Final Conflict. Enjoyable. Superboy, do not let the cover fool you. It's still crap. Sorry, DC, but that sucks. Okay, Green Lantern Corpse, not bad. All right, Constantine. I remember when Con when Hellblazer Constantine was a Vertigo book, and it was so much darker and so much better. All right, not a bad cover. This inside was okay. Suicide Squad. All right, Batman Zero Year. It's okay. It's an okay read. All right, World's Finest. Power Girl Huntress, just screw up the new camera person. Okay, just stay still. Just camera here, okay? <sighs> Nick, it's a shame you can't come over to my place and do this on Wednesday nights, but whatever. All right, Threshold. I've been enjoying this series. It's one of the few things you're doing that's good. All right, I have to warn you guys by the other day, Batgirl Bondage. Okay, not really, but it was a cool cover. But uh, DC's cover of the week, it's not even saying much. Get into Katana. This insides were so-so, but... That's the best one they had this week. Okay, we're going to go to the alternates now. Best alternate cover of the week. For those of you who get this, Cyberforce. Sweet book. I mean, it's it's one of those books where, you know, the covers are just like, wow, I, I want them on my wall. It's cool. Okay. All right. Better than Avengers Arena. Deathmatch. But even I'm starting to get to the point where, okay, end the story already. It's dragging on too long. Okay, Valiant. Archer Armstrong in Harbinger. Valiant, you guys are going downhill. I'm not enjoying these as much as when you first came out. The first seven editions of all the books were great. These are starting to bore me. Okay, good book, however. Chronos Commandos. Violence, dinosaurs, military, and really cool art. Buy this one. Okay, one of the cute ones, favorite books, and it almost, almost got alternate cover of the week. It was actually that good a cover. Doctor Who, of course. That's runner-up for... Alternate cover of the week. Okay, Thunder Agents. Again. 
Who knows how long it's going to last? This is a bunch of characters, so people don't know them, that have been around for ages, it seems. They keep on being picked up and dropped, picked up and dropped. I would just love for once, one company, pick them up and give them more than 12 issues shot. Let them actually run, build up a fan base again, but not, who knows how long this is going to last. Uh, cool book for today, Doomsday Point Uno, John Byrne's book, and once again, make this into a movie. Actually, TV series. Be kick-ass. All right, disappointing. Uh, I mean, I, I've been slowly losing faith in the Shadow and the Dynamite books, and this is starting to go downhill. All right, enjoyable read as usual. Great Pacific. Uh, very good read. Very hybrid fusion manga, Japanese, Western science fiction, East, West. Good book. All right, I still going to buy this last night. It's a new one. It's a number... Zero. Yes, it's zero of three. In other words, one of four. <laughs> Resident Alien. Uh, well, a little bit of a spoiler here. The artwork is kind of eh, average. Um, but I did kind of read it at the end and kind of go, okay, where are they going with this? So it is going to get a number two look. Uh, one of the ones that Mad Montreal Girl enjoyed, read, and forgot about with her concussion. Killjoys. Which leaves me one last book for this week, and it's the all-around cover of the week. It's the best cover that just really pops in my head, really sticks out. It's just really cool, and this is it. Breath of Bones. If you're not buying this series, something is wrong with you. Face it. If you're just going to buy the X-Men books and all the Avengers books and all the DC stuff and not look at books like that, then there's something wrong with you. Okay, it's about time that people start looking at stuff like this that you don't have to have 25 crossovers with and everything else, and you enjoy them. So that said, I've ranted enough. Ha <laughs> uh, Hopefully, uh, well, actually, next week, the Q1 will be back. At least there'll be two of us doing the show again, maybe a few more, but uh, that's pretty much it. We're still looking for sponsors. We need better camera equipment. We need better everything, and these books are getting expensive. So, sponsors, benefactors, you know who to get a hold of me. I mean, we now have, we're down to a scooter. We scoot around. It's pretty sad. But, tell you what, you sponsor me, I will put your company, or even just your name, on my scooter and take a picture of it and show you next week. How's that? So, apart from uh, the usual insanity in this room, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Life sucks. Comic books are good. Yeah, that's just about it. So, uh, okay. Tell your friends. Okay, why are you still there? You should be going away now. I said bye bye already. Okay, that's it! Yeah, new camera person is wonky. So I'm going to take the camera away from the crazy person now, and I'm going to say, okay, tune in next week, Tuesday night. There should be no delays. Of course, Wednesday, we're back! You, you better be back too, because. If you're not watching this, why am I doing this? Keep in mind, ugh, this is what I have to buy to do this for you guys to know what comic books to read, what not to read, and what's crap. Honest reviews here and only here. And on that note, this will be good night.